Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take another look at a Godiva Secret wig. It is Madison, this young lady right here. It's a fun shag look and I bet you can't wait to see her. I can't wait to show her to you. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we have a, another Godiva Secret wig. She is called Madison and she is a long shaggy razor cut around the face and neckline and this beautiful fringe razor cut all the way around the back. She's a long, considered a long wig and she's got longer side swept bangs as well. So she is a beautiful wig and she is a basic cut. This is what our basic cap. This is what her picture looks like in on the online store. And the color that I have in here today is spring honey. It's kind of a light beigey blonde mixed with a golden blonde. And you can see that blend here. So she's kind of a neutral blonde. She is no longer available in this color but she is available in creamy toffee. And that is a chunky blend of golden blonde and a lighter, lighter blonde. So um, she is still available in a blonde color. She also comes in um, a gray silver stone. She comes in brunettes. So all told, there's about eight colors that she's available in. None of them are rooted, but they do have, because they're blended so well, they have this dimensional look that gives them the appearance of darkness at the root. And you don't need the darkness, um, the rooting on them. So this is her. Well, let's take a look at the cap construction, okay? Like all of Godiva's Secrets um, basic caps, they are done very well. She is a completely closed cap with the closed lace on the top and the crown and the front. We have a half inch band of non-itchy material there. We have um, closed ear tabs with metal stays, open wefts, and look at all those rows. Look at them. You're not gonna see any weft exposure with this girl either. We have a standard nape with the half inch of a really nice soft velveteen. And then of course the little bra buckle adjusters on both sides. So that takes care of her. But she is a beautiful, beautiful shag, isn't she? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about a shag. <laughs> All right, well, let's try her on. And what I have on right now is Rochelle from Godiva Secret Wigs. I already did a um, review on her, so you can look her up in my library. But this is in the color um, Almond Spice Rooted. Beautiful, beautiful wig. So let's try on Madison. Okay, so here she is. The cap fits very nicely, just about perfect on my head for an average size. And let's take a look at these sides. Look at the side coverage. Very nice, very nice coverage. And of course, you know, whenever you put on any wig at first, you wanna to go to these sideburn areas and make sure you pull out the hairs that might get trapped underneath and pull them forward so that they will cover your face. And you still have enough freedom to pull, pull even hair away from your face. So here she is right out of the bag. Okay, she's got some permatease up here that we can activate, but let's just do, let's just do a real quick turnaround. She does have a little bit of volume up here, but I can tell you from experience wearing these girls, the, the uh, permatease can be controlled and it doesn't have to look quite so big. So let's, let's play with that. So just simply patting her down. Let's see, I'm gonna part her over here on the left and Gonna crease those bangs. Got a side swept bang. And of course you can trim them if you want. They're a little straight, but I could curl that easily. Okay, so pat this down a little bit more. I kind of like, for me, I like to have a little bit of that um, height right at the crown. 
gives my face, of course, more of an oval or elongated instead of short and square. But look at this. Look at the razor cutting around the neck. This reminds me a lot of Diana, doesn't it you? Um, uh, except there's no lace front like Diana has, which, you know, it reduces the price point on this girl significantly from Diana. And, um, oh my gosh, I know they just added the uh, silver stone to this, this particular uh, wig style. So that's really nice. Gosh, look at this. Nice razor cutting. It's not a heavy, dense um, wig. It actually is very, very lightweight. And I love the way that it, it hugs my face. If you like having these kinds of razor cuts coming in on your uh, lower jaw or even hugging your neckline, oh my gosh, this is the perfect girl. This is the perfect girl. Okay, so we parted her on the my left. Let's do the on the right, you know, because we know because of the closed cap and all of the permittees, we could do either side, either side. So here you go. Yep, she looks great that way too, doesn't she? Okay, coming forward, you know, we could punk her up, you know, do something like the 80s, really, really, really stacked up here on top and then have the fringe down here below. Oh my gosh, what fun is that? Isn't that cool? We can, we can play around with her to no end. Middle part, if you like middle parts, you can do this one too. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm battling these bangs a little bit, but you can snip them to fit you. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. Okay, and then of course, you know, getting little clips to put in here, you know, just to pull that away. You know, I think when, when there's all this razor cutting around the face, I think it looks so cute to pull that in and then, you know, take and pull back the opposite direction of the hair that's on top of it, just so that it accentuates the fact that you've got these razor cuts and it doesn't make it feel quite so heavy. But of course, and then of course the blingy little clips. Oh, I love them, <laughs> just right there. We could do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and headbands. Let's see, what color headband do I want to put in here? Um, let's do, oh, since I have a purple shirt on, I'm gonna use my Paisley square band. Look at that. That is perfect. Okay, so I can just slip that in. Oh, how's that? Maybe even puff this up a little bit more. Oh my gosh, how fun. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one, especially if you own wigs. They are the best, the best. Oh, her dimensions. They are five and a half inches at the bang, eight inches, at the back and nine inches at the, the nape. And she weighs four ounces. But this is Madison. She is a great all round, all season wig. And um, the styling is very, very nice. Very nice. I wish she came in more colors, don't you? <laughs> oh, some of those almond rocas and the color that I of Rochelle I had on almond spice. Oh, wouldn't that be gorgeous? But anyway, so this is Madison. I hope you've enjoyed looking at her a little bit closer and you, I'll put all the links down below so that you can be sure and connect with uh, the website that you can find her at. And of course, I do sell my wigs here that I do demos on. So you can contact me through my email at cococurran at gmail.com. Look in my address or my description box below. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It's always fun. I'm going to keep showing up if you keep showing up. So we will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Thanks again. Bye-bye.